So when you put the headset on, you will no longer see the room or anybody in the room anymore. And now you have the structure in your hand, so you can move it around. Yeah, I'm right on the yeah, membrane, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> Virtual reality allows people to kind of go behind the computer screen, to go into the world where the small molecules or proteins are being visualized and to really interact with them. It allows chemists to both identify potential drug molecules and then also optimize them more efficiently. So it's extremely important to be able to visualize these protein structures because they are so complex that understanding of patterns of how these molecules are spatially oriented with each other and how they interact tremendously helps with rational design of drugs. I like that it really provides a different perspective on the reality that we're used to looking at. You can touch them, you can move them, you can walk in and outside of them. I can basically grab a molecule of HIV protease, like I grab a cup of coffee or something, and just turn it around me and look from different sides what it looks like. So you can also imagine that you basically just beam people into your virtual worlds, right? And it's much easier to demonstrate what we're trying to improve on a molecule if, if the chemist can go with me into virtual reality space and look at it right there instead of me showing him 20 slides which he can't really see much on it. This is sort of transformative in terms of how we are going to communicate in the future. The virtual reality setup has actually been driven mostly by the gaming industry. And we've actually been able to leverage a lot of the different tools and learnings that they've been able to implement in our scientific workflows. We can utilize a lot of the hardware, but a lot of the software components need to be custom built. Every pharmaceutical company is trying to shorten the time to deliver these drugs to patients, and something like our group can help substantially to reduce that process and collaboratively with other medicinal chemists, speed up the iteration cycle so that we can deliver these medicines to patients much sooner. So it's up to us to um, take advantage of these technologies and figure out how to, how to get the most out of it.